Hi, my name is Dakulis Monte Brandon. I'm a junior here at Florida State University. I'm on the men's basketball team. As you know, in basketball, you come along a lot of adversities and trials on the court. And I feel like this has a lot to do with emergency management as well. Learning how to manage those disasters on the court, I feel like it's made me more interested in this subject and therefore goes, goes into what I'm going to be talking about today, which is the elderly and disaster and how they're affected during disasters and things that we can do as, as people and states can do to help out when it comes to these things and helping the elderly survive these disasters and natural disasters as well. The reason why I feel it's important and it's actually a key point is I read an article called Why Disasters Like Sandy Hit the Elderly Hard by Wayne Perry. And it states that the population is elderly population is always more at risk than the younger portion of the population. So for example, Hurricane Katrina, about seventy one percent of people who died were older were older than sixty years old. And half of those that were that were died were older than seventy five within that percentage of seventy one percent. Hurricane Sandy, about half the people that were died were over sixty five or older. The reasons for the elderly being hurt during storms were either because of they either drive the home, hypothermia, or fatal injuries from storm dis destruction. Now, as we know, the older you get, the more your body becomes more frail and fra fragile. So even the littlest amount of damage to an elderly person's body can have a big effect as far as them escaping, as far as them being able to swim out of water, for them to get themselves help outside of the home. If they have a hard fall and they can't move, nobody's there to help them. And therefore, and their body isn't allowing them to be able to move, so they will just sit there and suffer, which is which also not a very good thing as well. So these are a couple of reasons why the elderly are hurt during big disaster storms. A big key for solving this problem is disaster preparedness for the elderly. In Florida, for example, they have the Florida Department of Elderly Affairs take control of disaster preparedness. In doing this, they work with local agencies and team up with other government officials to figure out ways to help when a storm comes, how prepared they can be. And they also, which I thought was a key part, was have a guide in both Spanish and English. So both ethnicities and races can know what to do, how to do it, and where to go if an emergency comes, and how to help their um, older, older people in the family. In the state of Louisiana, they have emergency disaster training as well as they train volunteers to assist in shelters, focus on people with disabilities and the elderly. <laughs> they help with daily activities such as companionship, daily living, appropriate shelter layout, and shelter schedules for the elderly as well. I feel like the states of Florida and Louisiana have set a great example for what everyone else should do as it pertains to this these types of things because as you know, Hurricane Katrina came through Louisiana, and now they've made the correct adjustments. So when it happens again, or if a natural disaster does come again, they'll be able to help help themselves be prepared in a way that will make them have an outcome that's way more desirable than the, the lives that were affected and lives that were lost in that in that natural disaster. Um, once again, thanks um, for listening, and hopefully you learned something today that will be beneficial to you and to your family or to somebody's friend, to a friend of yours and their family And when it comes to assisting and helping the elderly during a natural disaster.